I would love Harry Styles to win. I'm not going to lie. I would love Harry Styles. What a million sugar. Mm -hmm. 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 Like, come on now. Everybody was singing that song. I would love him to win. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Teray, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Grammy nominations for 2021. Yo, I've heard a lot of conspiracy. I've heard a lot of um, backlash, but I have been avoiding it just so I can do this video, so I can sit down and actually analyze what category is what, who's nominated and where, and figure out maybe who's going to win or not. Uh, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Let's start with uh, the different categories because I heard that a whole lot of people were nominated that should have been nominated and that grinds my gears. Gears. You know why? Because we've had so much great music in 2020 that why these people are not nominated? Hire me. Hire me. I really should be prepared for this stuff, but like, I'm just looking on my phone. <laughs> I love me. I love who I am. All right, let's start with the record of the year. We have Beyonce's Black Parade. We have Colors by Black Pumas. We have Rockstar by The Baby featuring Roddy Rich. We have Say So with Doja Cat. And we have Everything I Wanted, Billie Eilish. Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa, Circles by Post Malone, Savage, Megan Thee Stallion, and featuring Beyonce. This is actually a really good category because most of these songs were really, really high chart toppers, such as Say So, Everything I Wanted, uh, Don't, Start, Don't Start Now, Circles, and Savage. I mean, those are really big chart toppers. So I don't know who's gonna win in this category at all, but at the same time, where's Blinding Lights? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Is it just me? Like where? 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 Where or where? It Wasn't that like a longest single like running? So like why is it not here for record of the year? Why is it not here for record of the year? Like I appreciate all these other artists in this category because you're right. Like, Beyonce's in this, and Beyonce's in this twice. So, like, I understand, but, like, uh, I don't know if the, uh, any of these songs capture record of the year. Like, I don't know. But if I had to narrow it down, I'd have to say either, can I narrow it down to three? Can I narrow it down to three? Well, this is my channel, so I can narrow it down. I can. <laughs> um, I'd have to say either Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, because she did have a really big comeback. Um, Circles by Post Malone or Savage, because Savage was played everywhere. Everywhere. I would like Do Doja to win, but I don't think she's going to win this year. Don't think so for, for this category, but I'm going to narrow it down to those three. Album of the year. Ooh, Janae Aiko was nominated. What? 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 I, Janae Aiko, she is gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you've never heard of her, her album Trip, one of my favorite albums to date. Oh my gosh. But for this album, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, uh, Black Pumas? I've never heard of Black Pumas, so. Interesting. Coldplay, Everyday Life. I'm surprised that they're nominated for Album of the Year. I really am because I haven't really fallen in love with a Coldplay album in a very long time. Uh, Jacob Kohler is nominated. Haim is nominated for Women in Music Part 3. Uh, Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone and Folklore by Taylor Swift. I'm surprised Taylor Swift was nominated for this. Is anybody else surprised? Because usually if her albums come out like 
towards the end of the actual year, usually they don't nominate it. Did anybody ever catch that? That like reputa reputation came out like I believe towards the end of the year? I could be wrong. I came out in November. When did this come out? When did Folklore come out? I'm surprised it's nominated. I really am. Yeah, August 18th it was, it was actually out. Folklore. So I'm surprised it's actually nominated. There's some time lapse, but I'm surprised still that Reputation was still not nominated, but this album is. Sus? I don't know. I don't know. But maybe they like this acoustically more. I don't know. But um, uh, if I had to go with anybody, so either with Future Nostalgia by du Dua Lipa or uh, Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. Just because I love those albums, I think Post Malone had some really good features on that album that actually complimented him rather than overshadowed him. And Future Nostalgia, is there anything more like throwbacky than Dua Lipa with this album? Like it was a powerful album. I don't think Folklore is going to win, but at the same time, I feel like the Grammys always like Taylor Swift when she is doing her thing of being subtle rather than being like like Reputation was a huge album it was huge you could not avoid it to save your life and I don't think they like her when she's like that I think they like her when she's folklorish and she is uh 198 89 ish i don't think they liked her when she was reputation and i that is one of my favorite albums to date so i don't think she's gonna win this one i feel bad for saying it but i don't think she's gonna win that one uh song of the year black parade by beyonce cardigan taylor swift circles post malone don't start now dua lipa everything i wanted billy i can't breathe wow by her, wow. I can't even believe that's even a nominated, in all honesty. I thought that would be too controversial. Um, and If the World Was Ending, Julia Michaels and J.P. Sachs. Hmm. This is, this is hard. Song of the Year. Hmm. I really want I Can't Breathe to win. I would like Julia Michaels to win. I That is my personal go ahead. I would like Julia Michaels if the world was ending. Uh, I don't think it's going to win. I feel like Dua Lipa's uh, Don't Start Now is going to win. Uh, just because she had such a good year. Such a powerful year. I would like to see her win for Don't Stop Now. But... I would also like to see Julia Michaels win just because that song was everywhere. You could not escape that song. Whether you wanted to, <laughs> whether you hated that song and you were like, the world is ending, and you were like, yeah, the world is ending, you could not escape that song. So, but for my personal choices, I'd say I can't breathe and if the world was ending, but I feel like if I'm looking at it from a Grammy perspective and how they would judge, I'd say don't. I would say don't start now. Just putting it out there. Don't start now. Do a Lipa. Let's just let's just write it in history. See how it goes. Um, best pop solo performance. Yummy. Justin Bieber. Say so. Doja Cat. Everything I wanted. Billie Eilish. Don't start now. Do a Lipa. Watermelon sugar. Harry Styles and Cardigan, Taylor Swift. Hmm. It surprises me how Cardigan is still in the pop category. Was it defined as pop? That's miscategorized. Is anybody else feeling like some of these are miscategorized? Um, I'm not gonna say Cardigan. Not gonna do it. Sorry, bro. <laughs> um, uh, yummy, not gonna do that either. Um, I would love Harry Styles to win. I'm not going to lie. I would love Harry Styles. What a million sugar. What a million sugar. What a million sugar. What a million sugar. Like, come on now. Everybody was singing that song. I would love him to win. 
best pop solo performance, Harry Styles. <laughs> My personal uh, recommendation, Harry Styles. <laughs> um, best pop duo group performance. Uh, Andea, One Day, J Balvin, Dua Lipa, Bad Bunny, and Tanny. Uh, Intentions, Justin Bieber featuring Quavo. BTS, Dynamite, Rain On Me, Lady Gaga with Ariana Grande, and Exile, uh, Taylor Swift with, um, Bon Iver. Is it Bon Iver? Bon Iver? Ben Iver? I, I, I feel like everybody mispronounces his name all the time, but he's one of the most beautiful singers I have ever heard in my entire life. On the Taylor Swift folklore album, if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It's uh, Exile is one of my favorite, favorite songs. I cannot stress that enough. But I feel like BTS is gonna die. Oh, it's gonna demolish. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna explode like dynamite. BTS, I'm going with BTS for best pop duo group performance because BTS has my soul. Whether they know it or whether they don't, BTS right here, right here, BTS. Um, but I'm sad because Lady Gaga and Ariana, um, they, that song. Lean on me, I didn't ask for a free ride, no I didn't. Mm. It, it's, ooh, don't even get me started. Pop vocal album. We have Changes by Justin Bieber, Chromatica by Lady Gaga, Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa, Fine Line by Harry Styles, and Folklore by Taylor Swift. Oh, I like how they gave explanations for each of these. I didn't realize that before. So best pop vocal album for albums containing at least 51% playing time of new pop vocal re recordings. So they have a criteria. I never knew that they had a criteria. I thought it was just albums that were pop. Huh. All right. Um, I'm going with Fine Line by Harry Styles or Chromatica by Lady Gaga. I think my third would be Future Nostalgia, Dua Lipa, just because Folklore, I didn't think pop Folklore was a pop album. Am I wrong? Put it down in the comment section. Is Folklore a pop album? Because I don't think it's a pop album. Am I wrong? Like, <laughs> I don't think it is, but I would say Harry Styles, Fine Line, Lady Gaga, Chromatica, and then uh, Future Nostalgia, Dua Lipa. Just because Lady Gaga came back strong and Harry Styles, oof, oof. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be in that lights video. Let's just be honest here. Mm, he just dis. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Best rock performance. Shamika, Fiona Apple, Not Big Thief, Kyoto, Phoebe Brit Bridges, The S Steps Ham. Is it Ham or Ham? Ham or Ham? I remember actually writing this underneath one of my videos once of what is their name. Somebody told me, but I completely forgot about it. So is it hem or is it hem? <laughs> uh, Stay High by Brittany Howard and Daylight by Grace Potter. Now, Grace Potter is one of those people who I feel like gets nominated a lot. Uh, if you don't know who Grace Potter is, I originally got into her because Grace Potter and the Nocturnals. Love, I loved that band, but then she broke off and became like Grace Potter by herself. She's one of a phenomenal singer, but I feel like either Fiona Apple is gonna get it or Phoebe Bridger because literally Phoebe has gotten. I love that album, and the more I listen to that album, the more I understood it more. The first listens is very, very hard for me to do that, but at the same time, I'm so glad I actually get did um and plus fiona apple she is one of my favorite 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 singers i cannot stress this enough every single night is one of my favorite songs by her i play it when i'm literally just being me <laughs> so i'm i'm saying it's going to come down to either fiona apple or phoebe bridgers um but grace potter i love you so much i think Ugh, if i could I would. Oh, 
I hope she wins something someday. Um, let's keep going. Uh, best rock song. So, a uh, songwriter's award includes rock, hard rock, and metal songs. The song is eligible if it was re first released or if it was first achieved prominence during the el eligible year. Artist names appear in parentheses, singles, or tracks only. Okay, so Kyoto, Phoebe Bridgers, Austin Yesterday, uh, Not by Big Thief, Shamika, uh, Fiona Apple, Stay High, Brittany Howard. Hmm. I feel like Phoebe's gonna win this. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Um, she has had a really big year, and for her to be so new, but yet at the same time have this heart that is kind of like seems like it's been here for a while, like Billy, I feel like she's gonna win this. So I'm gonna go with her. Even though I love Brittany Howard and I love Fiona Apple. I feel like she's got this in the bag. Men's Lightning and Thunder, Jenea A with Jenea Aiko with featuring John Legend, Black Parade, Beyonce, All I Need, Jacob Collar featuring Ty Dolla Sign, and Goathead by Brittany Howard, See Me by Emily King. Best Progressive R&B Album, Jenea Aiko with Chalabo, Chalambo. Uh, Ungodly Hour, Chloe and Haley. Free Nationals. Uh, <laughs> if you'll feel it. Ah, Robert Gleisbeer. <laughs> and it is what it is, Thundercat. Um, Janae Aiko. Janae Aiko. Um, and Chloe and Haley. Yeah. I'm going with those two albums because I love both of those albums. I feel like they definitely produced a, a, a real body of work this year that I was actually very surprised that they would. Um, so I'm going to go with those two. Uh, girl Power. Love it. Um, hmm, best R&B album. For, hmm. Happy to be here, Aunt Clemens. Clemens, I have never heard of Aunt Clemens. I may have to pursue him. Lord help me. <laughs> Take time, give in, give in. Oh, I love, I love his voice. I love his voice, I love his voice. He was on a Drake track and I was just like, oh, so baby, oh, oh. Um, Personal, I wish he would win it. <laughs> to feel loved, Luke James. Bigger love, John Legend. And all rise, Gregory Porter. I, again, I feel like John Legend is gonna win, but my personal would be given. Given, 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 given. Mm. That, <laughs> his voice just. rap performance. Uh, let's keep going. Hmm. I'm looking down the rap performers. Oh, best rap albums? Really? Well, best rap albums has D Smoke uh, with Black Habits. Has Alfredo, uh, written testimony by J Electronica. King's Disease by Nas and The Allegory by Royce59. Why do I feel like so many other albums could have been on this list? I am very disappointed by this. <laughs> so many albums. I have heard so many rap albums this year that could have been on this list. Let a girl know down in the comment section if we're thinking about the same rap albums. Let a girl know. But like, I'm not even gonna answer this one because this is, this is disappointing. This is disappointing. Didn't like Eminem come out with an album? Didn't um, Anna Mine come out with an album? Like, like, 
I'm so confused. Like, I'm so confused right now. Didn't they? Now I have to look it up. Now I have to look it up. Like, I'm so angry right now. Eminem did come out with an album, Music To Be Murdered By, this year. Correct. Yes, he did. Why is it not nominated? What? Amine. Limbo. Amine. Limbo. Why is it not nominated? It came out in 2020. Oh, I... I there are so many good rap albums. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, like, am I, am I going crazy? Am I going crazy? Am I going nuts? Our Dark Lane demo tapes by Drake came out. Why is it not in the rap category? Like, are you... I have never been so angry in my entire life. <laughs> I'm not even answering this category. Get it out of my face. All right, I'm going through all of these and I know some of these. I feel like 10,000 Hours is gonna win because uh, that song has been played everywhere. I know that for a fact. Um, I'm excited to see if uh, Jesus is King by Kanye West wins because like, just to see that he is switching over genres is very interesting to me. That somebody can go from Gold Digger and from like power to like gospel music, Chick Fil A. Like it, 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 I understand that he is he's not someone who put in a box. I get it, but like for that jump. Whoo! I did not expect that jump. Did anybody else expect this jump? Because like I didn't. I didn't. Manic. Did, is she nominated? Is she nominated? Wait a minute. She she wasn't nominated? Who do I have to fight? But you know, like, I understand the criteria of actually getting into the Grammys is very narrow and is very, a lot of people have created an album. I get it. But literally, I remember doing this on my channel at the beginning of the year. She had singles. Like, what do you mean? There were so many albums that could have been nominated in this list, in this goddamn list. You're gonna tell me The Weeknd's not nominated. You're gonna tell me Halsey's not nominated. You're gonna tell me Charlie XCX is nominated? She made this album in like two months and literally put it out in the world and had like a huge, huge following for it. Literally. You won't tell me that's not nominated? Holding is not nominated for Brightest Blue? She had Juice World on that album. Features on that album that were pivotal. And like that album was one of the one of the greatest like albums of this year. If you put your headphones in and you want to go to a world and she wants to guide you through that world, that is an album that she will guide you through that world. Are you kidding me? And Rena Sawaya. Rena Sawayama is not nominated. Who do I have to fight? Who do I have to fight? Hire me, hire me. I won't fight anybody, hire me. Because literally, Rena had one of the most distinct and, and interesting albums of 2020. It did not sound like anything we have heard. And nothing that I was expecting. I don't know about you, but I wasn't expecting it. God. Are you kidding me right now? Huh? Like, I could literally come up with a, a, a list of 10 albums. 10 albums for you 
to listen to that should have been nominated. How dare you with this garbage? <laughs> I am very happy for the people who got nominated. I'm very happy for you. But at the same time, this, unacceptable. What is this? I know Grammys is the highest honor in like the world, but like for that to be, what, what? Like I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now for those albums to just be on the list. Where's Kalani? <laughs> like, is anybody else like, Kalani, where are you? Cause she had a great album as well. Like, <laughs> um, well, I, I, let a girl know down in the comment section who do you think is gonna win each category let a girl know by the way list all the albums songs you think should have been nominated because i can literally list so many other songs so many other albums that should have gotten recognition that didn't get recognition and that angers me oh my god like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Let a girl know down in the comment section. Are you equally as angry as I am over this? Oh, can we talk about also how Justin Bieber is upset because his album is nominated as pop instead of hip hop? No, 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 it's a pop album. It's a pop album, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, do you agree with that statement? Do you not agree with that statement? Let a girl know down in the comment section. Don't be afraid to post your opinion. We're all family here. I will see you guys in the next one.